What a putrid offering. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. 
I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Mr. Pierce, our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. I'm coming. I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, but I must say that I expected anything but a drunken blow. You're free to leave, Anthony. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Robson, industrial estate expert. All of Boston. Tell me, Mr. Pierce. Are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. On the contrary, you managed to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. Now look at this. That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. This symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. So, Mr. Pierce. What do you make of these... elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. 
That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death, and yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this. I used to be an avid reader. Natural sciences, linguistics, art. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water.
almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Please do their work. Hey, Sullivan, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. Don't treat me like another one of these locals. You're completely overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. What are you thinking? That you can call the National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else, huh? Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. He's gonna get us into trouble. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers.
pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Same again, please. Here you go. Whew. That's no moonshine. You can say that again. House recipe. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision. Was it so terrible? Way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? You don't dare say a thing because you respect their memory. But that doesn't mean that you don't have a lot on your mind. <laughs> You're not a P.I. for nothing. Okay. I don't know what it's worth, though. But Mrs. Hawkins... And she went to see her doctor very often. She was sick. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have mentioned it to you. Forget it. I've got what I need. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. 
You want a drink? One more, but it'll be the last. <laughs> they all say that. There's Ryan, that... Looks like Monsieur is a connoisseur. Not bad for a guy from the city. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? That'll be all for now. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. And then he said, you have no right to treat us... The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. What did he say? He laughed. My God. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Asilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck.
These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins, but that's all I'll get from them. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph, the one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Shysters, you're crazy! 
the cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Where do you think you're going? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Come on, you could tell me. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Cap. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> so, who are you? Are you stupid, or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you gentlemen farewell.
damn stupid idiots. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it... A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This handle will be perfect for the winch. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle.
Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening? I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business? What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Liquor? Exactly. I'll try to find some for you. to us anyway. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. <sighs> Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. What can I get you? Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. 
Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. How much for a bottle of whiskey? Five dollars. I guess I'm that desperate. I'm not judging you. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? That'll be all for now. What? Another break? Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm fascinated by the history of the whaling station. Ha! Huh. You certainly don't lack style. But enough of the jokes. You reek of private eye. Who did you come for? The Hawkins family. Now why doesn't that surprise me? A little advice, though. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? I don't think I'm ready to pay the price. As you wish. But I think you'll be back. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shyster. So, have you got what we asked you for? Here. Now, sit back and enjoy our performance. Follow me. <coughs> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? Say that again. I hope for your sake that I didn't hear... Let's see. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. There's something coming. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't have to. Yeah. Huh. You didn't. Be so under. Tell me. I'm invested. It's very. But it's also. Let me give you. If you want to. I need to get in. You're out of this person. Are you pulling? Think it over. I've seen and you. I accept well, to be honest. But I'll go. Sounds on. I'm not. If I do, you'll be in. And I can't think about. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings?
What happened here? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. You sent your men away. Bad idea. I see only one overweight police officer and one hardened veteran. How dare you? I am a representative of the law. <laughs> Relax. Look what I found. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do.
place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. 
I didn't expect this. Sir. Poor kid. I was sanctuary. I'd steal a burnt painting. I don't see Silas do. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Put down the axe, and I'll forget that you threatened a cop. Show your badge, cop, and then we can talk. You don't need to see my badge. You're a bad liar, city boy. For the last time, tell me why you're here. And no baloney! The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. What now? Pierce, shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you.
Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Sarah Hawkins painted herself with her son, Simon, ready to go somewhere without Charles. This roast, what strange creature has flesh like this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? They seem happy, but Charles is already looking off into the future. His marriage just a stop along the way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How?
They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Did someone escape the fire? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in... This door is locked. Lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. 
Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This place was falling apart long before the fire. This place was falling apart long before the fire. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Uh. There's something disturbing about this painting. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Ah, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. boys' room. A 
child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Locked. This door is locked.
What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. This door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. This door is locked. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that a book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century.
There's something disturbing about this painting. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Bradley? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> 